Hello. Well, I'm doing something different here. Where is she? There she is. I'm doing a little vlog, which I don't usually do. Um, for those of you in New York State, you're probably familiar with the Adirondacks in October. And for those of you not in New York State or not even in North America, welcome. <laughs> the Adirondacks are a huge park. Um, there's public and private land and it's just gorgeous this time of year. And we're doing a little bit of work up here this weekend. And I just wanted to check in and, and say hi to everybody. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's a little disorienting for me, still with the eye. So I um, have a silicone oil bubble in my eye for like three months to try to protect it so no more tears and rips happen and detachments. And as a result, I don't see well at all out of that eye. Um, so it is disorienting. And I will be honest with you, and I think that's what my message is. Prior to having a checkup with my doctor this week, I started getting in this headspace of fear. And because even the good eye, sometimes I can't see that well because I have all these floaters and all this weird retinal stuff going on. It's 2020 unless a floater comes and then sometimes they can't see at all. A little breezy down here. Um, so I was in this fearful, like, if my good eye goes, I am literally looking at being very visually impaired and wondering, do I have some kind of retinal disease? I might be, worst case scenario, I could really lose my vision. So as my way of handling it, a lot of you know I love to run, I love to hike, all these things. I started looking up how how do runners do it if they're blind well guess what tons of people do it is awesome and you get some you get a tether where is she there she is Joby's on a walk with me um you you get a tether and somebody is your partner and helps you and so I started thinking about that and my friend that I run with she's like Cal I will be your tether person and I'm like thank you that fear made me see worse, I think. Then I went to my checkup. The doctor said, looks great. You're healing really well. I asked him my questions. Look at this. I asked him my questions. He said, no, you don't have a retinal disease. You had a detached retina and many tears, but your diagnosis is bad luck. No, I don't know what that's um, I felt so much better. And he looked in the other eye. And he said, no, nope, that looks good. So, I don't know. All this graffiti here. I don't know. Don't look at the graffiti. Look at the beautiful. And isn't that the lesson? Let's look at the beauty. Let's look at the positive. And I got to tell you, since I had that appointment with him, and he said, no, and I am optimistic. Your vision is going to be restored. That, that made all the difference. So instead of being fearful, I'm hopeful. And yep, it, it's a little off balance. I feel a little weird still. It's distracting sometimes, but I'm very grateful. And kind of like down here at the bridge, I'm looking at the beautiful. Okay, I can like focus on, ah, too bad people wrote weird messages. I don't know. I don't know what they're saying. Then I don't care. <laughs> I'm here to look at the beauty and to share it with you. Let's look for the love. Let's look for the hope. Let's look for the healing. Let's look at the beauty. And it's really good for our mental health. Thanks for being with me today. <laughs>